Hey, Lauren here. We've been do going over an offer all week and now we're going to do the final step or the final step before closing and that is the final walkthrough. And there's two differences, two different types of walkthroughs. One walkthrough is for a resale. You typically do this uh, within 24 hours of, of closing. You want to make sure the house is ready for you to move into. And so in resales, uh, you just want to make sure any and all inspection requests or resolutions have been done. And so that's why you want to make sure it's done at least, well, usually around 24 hours in advance, if not longer, because you'd hate to push back a closing because of issues with the final walkthrough. I even advise most of my clients, I like to do it seven days in advance. That's a lot easier to do with new construction homes than resales because Usually you don't have that luxury of seven days because people are living in their home. However, uh, so that's why it goes more to that 24 hours notice, or I like at least 24 hours to have the house vacant, cleaned, uh, everything done that is agreed to do, because if you do run into issues in that final walkthrough, you wanna have time to address it so you don't have to push back the closing. Otherwise, that your house isn't gonna sell, or you're not gonna close on that house and that closing's gonna get pushed back and you delay getting your new home. Uh, with the exception with the new new homes, uh, I do handle these a little bit differently. Since they are new construction, uh, I like to do inspections periodically through the entire building process. And I like to do what I consider the final walkthrough at least seven days uh, prior. Usually the builders aren't going to do super tight deadlines or maybe some do I don't tend to work I tend to work with very reputable builders that don't tend to push their timelines that much and you know stuff happens COVID COVID changes everything it changes the ballpark for everything but anyway I like about seven days on new construction so that gives the builder plenty of time in case something isn't working like the new installed I don't know, oven isn't working or the fireplace that you paid $5,500 for isn't working. And I can tell you, I'm not closing on that house so that gosh darn 55 inch uh, beautiful fireplace is working. <laughs> um, so if you guys ever have any questions, um, comments or anything, my door is always open. And a lot of what I say is a very, I consider it a very dynamic, active conversation. I don't say, you know, extremes like yes or no or black, white. The real estate market does have uh it changes and so the definitions do kind of change with the market right now it's a strong seller's market so you're seeing more aggressive terms uh in things and with walkthroughs and you're not it's just a you know the terms i use are just general terms and it's always good to have great representation that does understand that the real estate market is dynamic and it's always constantly changing so thank you guys for tuning in have a good night